Hello and welcome back to another video. So in the previous episode we went through the interface and how it all sort of works, all the different panels, some of the buttons uh, and the timeline and whatnot. So in this video I'm going to go over the settings that I use for my projects uh, in Premiere Pro. Now I'm not a professional by any means but these are the settings that I use that seem to work really well uh, so I thought I would show you them. So if we just head on over to Premiere Pro. Okay, so from the welcome screen, we want to select the new project. And it's going to come up with the new project window. And it's going to ask us where do we want to save our project. So I'm going to change mine to a slightly different location. So I've actually created a folder called YouTube series. And I'm just going to call this uh, YouTube Premiere Pro. So from memory, I think I just left the settings as they are here. Scratch disks, I didn't change anything in there either. And then all I did was click on OK. And that's now asking us to create a sequence. So this is where we set up all the different settings, like the resolution size and all of that sort of stuff. So I created a custom one here. So I think I just selected uh, something in here. I think it was this one here. And once you select that, you can go into the settings and you can actually change uh, what you want it to be. So if I click on the YouTube one that I created and go to settings, so the editing mode I set to custom, the time base is 29.97 frames per second. So the actual frame size for YouTube that I upload for 720p is 1280 by 720, which is basically 16 by 9. The pixel aspect ratio, square pixels, and so on and so forth, you can just basically copy the settings that I've added here. And then all I did then was click on Save Preset, which basically gave me this here. So again, we'll leave the sequence name, just leave it on Sequence 1. And if we click on OK, so as you can see here, we've got the actual sequence here, which is where we'll be adding all of the project files in. Uh, we can create mul multiple sequences and add uh, those to the timeline as well. But for now, we're just going to concentrate on one sequence here. Uh, so in the next video, I'm going to go over organizing the video footage over here in the project panel uh, and importing. So as usual, guys, thanks for watching. Please leave any comments below. Feel free to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.